welcome to day five of vlog. No, hmm, <laughs> day six of Vlogmas. I was on the right track. Um, we didn't film yesterday because basically we woke up, we got ready, <laughs> and we went to my ophthalmologist. I always try to call him an orthopedist, but um, I had an appointment with the ophthalmologist, and that took several hours. And then by the time we got out, it was dark because it's winter and everything gets dark fast. And we were in the car most of the time. And then by the time we got home, it was late. We were tired. We really didn't feel like filming. Not that there was anything to film. So we just kind of called yesterday quits. So there wasn't really much to film except I did get new glasses. I have these, I just have some sunglasses I'll probably show you at some point, don't know if that'll be today, but, um, so yes, yesterday was not super eventful, I did have a slight reaction, don't know how slight it would have been, um, I started to react to the dilation liquid that they put in my eye, the dilation drops, um, cause I had to dilate my eyes and all that. And, um, I started to react to that, and I had to take one of my Claritin tabs for that. So, don't know how bad the reaction would have been. But, the, the good thing is the Claritin tabs pretty much stopped the reaction dead in its tracks before it really had any time to get anywhere. Um, my hearing was going out. It kind of sounded like there was, um, it, uh, water sloshing in my ears, which that one's new. And my head was just getting heavy, my body was going lethargic, that's that's all normal, the hearing thing was new. But um, when I took my Claritin within five minutes, all of that was better. So, that stopped the reaction dead in its tracks, so that's really good. Um, so, my eyes are structurally very sound, no issues, which is really great because with the EDS and stuff there can sometimes be issues like apparently you can dislocate the lens on your eye so thankfully no issues everything is structurally sound I have a lot of wacky wacky vision issues I mean like I see all kinds of weird things so um <laughs> that that he was saying is not my eyes it's going to be a neurological issue um either migraine related or um dysautonomic so we're probably going to be on the right track with my treatment so anyway that's what happened there yesterday um today i, I don't know i just woke up it's 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 12.48, so it's almost 1 o'clock. Uh, I woke up at 12 to take my n noon medicine, and I was going to go back to sleep, but then my eyes just started watering like crazy, or I'm not sure, actually. I think I had a really vivid dream, like when I was half asleep. I don't know. I'm not sure. I just, I couldn't, I was having trouble sleeping, so I just ended up waking up. I'm just gonna chill and do stuff because I don't feel good. I've got a headache and I'm really tired from yesterday and I think I might have hurt my shoulder blade more, which is not good. But yeah, I got these gingerbread muffins at Whole Foods. They're so good. They're very, very good muffins. Sorry, I'm trying, I'm trying to get the camera on them. Why is it on auto? Oh, that's not, it's not on autofocus. I'm just not using the little focusy bit. There we go. They're so good though. Yummy. I like those. I like muffins. So, I, I like carbs. I'm just drawn to carbs. <laughs> so, um, I'm probably going to snack on those. And, yep. That's about it for now. Going to go. And yep. See you later. Hi, y'all. It's um, 6:30 on what day is it? Tuesday. And I am on my way to Sam's. And I know Caroline did an intro. I have no idea what she said. So if I repeat or just pretend I didn't. But anyway, 
I'm on the way to pick up meds for Caroline and me. She's got like four prescriptions and I've got one I've got to pick up. And then um, go to my dad's. Sam's closes in 30 minutes, but it's only about, I think it's like 10 to 12 minutes away to get into town and get there. I wanted to just give a quick update yesterday was crazy we just did the doctor then we ran errands after it we went to the eye doctor for Caroline which went really well she got new glasses she probably told you that and um, so after we left the doctor we didn't get there till late it was like four o'clock then we went to Whole Foods and spent an hour there which was amazing but we only spent like 20 bucks or 30 20 I think it was 20 something which isn't bad for spending an hour in Whole Foods and then, let me think, we went to get her glasses. I'm sorry, there's police officers all down here. Oh, they are doing a speed trap down here. And they're quite a bunch of people. So, um, they like to do that. There's two ways in and out of this neighborhood. One road, well actually, it's one road and it opens on two sides. It goes all the way through. And they like to sit at the ends and catch people who like to fly through the neighborhood. So, unfortunately, that wasn't me. So, anyway, I am, uh, so we just ran errands and got home late last night. We've had storms for days, and um, if you don't have a chronic illness, you probably aren't aware that weather changes, like fluctuations between hot and cold, which in the deep south you get all winter long, you know, it'll be 60 one day, 30 the next. And the, that and um, just rainy weather and storms really affect us adversely. And that has been happening and everybody's down. I mean, Sarah was really great last week. And she was actually great for the first two days of the storms and then she just, hasn't been great. She's not been feeling well at all. And you can see it in her. She just feels terrible. And it has been affecting Hannah and Caroline and me and Rachel too. Things I've wanted to get done, like my $5 Goodwill Challenge video from my channel went up today and had all kinds of issues with that. I literally sat in the living room and cried this afternoon because it was Murphy's Law. Um, I used some glass Christmas trees that I bought this year for the challenge and I was also going to use some that I bought last year well the first night we were decorating they're the kind that are old they're red they're vintage and they stack and so they have a top that comes off they're like candy jars first night I broke the top to one I thought we made it it bounced um, on the point on the porcelain floor which anything glass that touches my porcelain floor even looks at it really hard is gonna break it shatters and goes crazy but this Christmas tree the top bounced and Rachel and I are like look it's because as it bounced we were thinking it did it like six times it is gonna make it I cannot believe something's gonna survive this then it tilted over bam and hit the side and the edge and shattered into a million pieces well then last night I was trying to re I was thinking about rearranging some stuff on the on the mantle and poor Rachel she grabbed one of the trees not realizing it was in two pieces because it's um spray painted mercury glass look she didn't realize and the top broke it bounced it broke the first bounce because it was from further it was from the mantle and it just shattered it shot all the way across the room over to me on the couch it was so it shattered so bad and so she so I had to re rethink the whole thing and it took me and I cried then too because I'm very perfectionistic and I had a plan and I had it all set up and I had it the way I wanted it and didn't have time to like go buy anything else and I was trying to get everything to balance and all that kind of stuff right and it took me about an hour to I, I figured out something pretty quickly but I wasn't sure I was gonna like it for an hour and then I sat there and looked at it and I actually like it a whole lot so it, it actually I think works better but getting to that realization is really hard okay I had to
turned the camera off while I was on the highway because <laughs> it is the most bouncy road. I mean, it feels pretty smooth, but it's just like, um, it's not like pothole, like bouncy. It's just, uh, I don't know. It's not smooth and it's like little dips all the way here. So it's been, um, eight minutes since I was in the neighborhood. So I did pretty good. Tonight as I was getting ready to leave, I was maybe five minutes from out being out the door. Hannah came to me and told me that Carolyn had fallen. Rachel has been, we've been planning on her painting a winter picture for the house that we can leave up all winter long. And she'd gotten some of the supplies out and started painting and her and Caroline share a bedroom. And it didn't smell that strong. I walked in the room a few minutes later and I couldn't hardly, and I have a super sniffer. I could barely get a whiff of anything in the air, but Carolyn walked in, walked out, walked in the office, and down she went. So that put me, took about 30 minutes to get her around, get the medicine or she needed, and to get her to come to enough that she could sit up and be okay. And But I have to get her medicine, so I have to come over here to do that. That put me out later than I meant to. I'm going to go in Sam's, get my meds, then I'm going to go to Chipotle and get me um, three vegetarian tacos. I love, love, love barbacoa and I love Chipotle food, but their meats are just so spicy and I know I'm probably the biggest wimp in the world and that's okay, but they're too spicy for me. I've had the barbacoa tri twice and last week when I got it, I could just barely eat it because it was so hot. Let me run the seams real quick and I'll, then I'll head to Chipotle. I may or may not take you in. After that, I'm going to go to my dad's because it's Tuesday night and we do genealogy together. And I haven't been able to go. I've like gone once in the last month. <clears throat> I'm sorry. As you can tell, I'm still battling this funky voice thing with this respiratory virus we got. But anyway, I am going to go in and get my meds. I'll see you in a bit. Hi y'all, it's really late and I wanted to wrap up the video real quickly. After Caroline's attack, she went to bed early while I was out and I didn't get home till almost 10.30 because I, I left my dad's and went by Walmart and picked up a few decorating things and a couple of things we needed and got home. Sarah was feeling really bad but in the last hour she's done really well. I think it's, her head's bothering her, you can see her eyes are real puffy and swollen and she can't really take like things like Triaminic or Sudafed and all that kind of stuff because it messes with her head really bad. So we have to do things naturally and I set a diffuser up in her room and since then she's been calm and quiet. I don't think she's asleep yet but she's been, it seems to be feeling a lot better. So I'm really thankful for that. So I'm going to end this and edit and we will be seeing you this tomorrow and I don't know what our days are going to be like on Thursday and Friday because Rachel has a sleep study so I guess we may film some from there who knows um, Rachel has a sleep study she has to sleep like Thursday night and they'll do stuff and then Friday she has what's called a nap study where they want her to take certain naps at certain times so I've got to figure out what I'm going to do because I have to be there because of her falling they don't they, I have to be there to take care of her if she falls. So I have to have stuff to do. And so I, I may read a whole lot and study. And I don't know. I have to think about that while I'm in the next day or so. Cause, well, in the next day. And then I've got to figure out what I'm going to do about food. Because being dairy-free and gluten-free, mm, I don't think they're going to meet those needs. So I'll see what we're going to, I'm going to do about that. So I'll wrap this up. And thank you so much for watching. I did post my... Goodwill Challenge video on my channel. So I'll link to that below too, just in case you're interested. And thanks so much for watching. God bless you and Merry Christmas.